Their care and that of their babies is the leading cause of hospitalization in this country and a major factor in our nation's escalating health care costs. Yet in spite of the fact we spend more than any country in the world on maternity care and more on mother and baby fees for childbirth than other types of hospital care, the United States ranks far behind nearly all developed countries in perinatal outcomes and childbirth continues to present significant risks for mothers and babies, particularly in communities of color. There are many factors that contribute to these poor outcomes and high costs. The most disturbing is that our current health system fails to follow the vast body of research on the best evidence-based practices in maternity care. The result is a widespread overuse of expensive maternity practices such as cesarean sections and scheduled inductions, which only in limited situations are needed and beneficial. When used routinely and without medical necessity, these and other practices expose women and infants to unnecessary risks and are a major factor in pregnancy and delivery being our most costly Medicaid expenditure. Credible research tells us non-invasive, cost-effective, evidence-based maternity practices which result in safer and healthier outcomes for mother and baby are significantly underused in our country. To address these concerns, I am introducing the Maximizing Optimal Maternity Services for the 21st Century Act. The Moms for the 21st Century Act expands federal research on maternity practices that ensure the healthiest of maternity outcomes, and it authorizes a scientifically based media campaign to educate the public about those practices. In addition, the bill creates a national focus on maternity care by establishing an interagency coordinating committee to promote optimal outcomes for mothers and babies. To help address serious health disparities in maternity care outcomes, the Moms for the 21st Century Act directs the collection of data to determine the areas in our country which lack adequate access to maternity care providers. It also directs the Secretary of HHS to support the education of a more culturally and geographically diverse interdisciplinary workforce by convening a maternity curriculum commission to develop core curricula across maternity professional disciplines, establishing loan repayment programs for providers in maternity care shortage areas, and by authorizing grant programs for maternity professional organizations to recruit and retain minority providers. Mr. Speaker, as Lee Jong-uk, the former Deputy General of the World Health Organization, once said, mothers, the newborn, and children represent the well-being of a society and its potential for the future. Their health needs cannot be left unmet without harming the whole of society. Mr. Speaker, there is no doubt the future of our country depends on the health and well-being of our mothers and their children. I urge my colleagues to make evidence-based maternity care a national priority by co-sponsoring and helping to pass the Moms for the 21st Century Act. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlelady yields.